This is Inspired RC and welcome to another video. Today guys we've got part 2 of the protection mods. In today's video we're going to be installing some more protection mods on the EXB guys. Super excited, I've got some bits that arrived with me so I'm going to be looking forward to installing them. And also in today's video I'm going to show you some protection that hopefully we can give to the ESE on the EXB and hopefully that should prolong the life of the ESE guys. Uh, before we do all of that, in my previous video I did install a 25kg steering servo on this car. Unfortunately in that video I didn't include how to set your steering endpoints and why it was important to do that. So before we do any more installation I want to just quickly run over that steering for you guys. And we'll get some batteries into her. And we'll get it turned on. Okay guys I've got some batteries in her now. I've got her turned on. I've got the controller turned on. Now setting your steering endpoints is something that I would recommend you do on any of your hobby grade RC cars. And obviously I've got the Dumbo RC controller here but you will find on all these controllers there will be a throttle trim and there will be a steering trim and hopefully you'll find there's a steering dual rate as well which is this knob here and it usually starts at zero and goes to 100% and what that does is, is it controls the amount of power that's sent from the steering servo to the wheels for it to turn. So basically if you turn it down to zero and you try turning the wheels, the wheels won't turn. If you try it to 100%, obviously the wheels will turn 100%. So I'll quickly show you that. Let's turn it down to zero. And it's doing nothing. And as I turn it up, so as I turn it up, you can see it started moving. And as I increase it, it will move more and more. So what we want to do is we want to find out what point we can turn this up to where it's turning the wheels to the maximum but it's not over exerting the steering servo by turning putting too much power to the uh, steering so the way you're going to do that is you're going to hold the steering down one side and you're going to turn your dual rate all the way down to zero and by doing that you can see the steering is now turning only in one direction it's not really doing anything but keep the wheel turned and increase slowly the dual rate and as you increase the dual rate you'll see the wheels start to turn and what we want to do is we want to find out where the end point for where the wheel won't turn anymore so on this side if i turn it just back down again you can see just so it's around about there once you're happy with one way you do the same on the opposite side so Turn the wheel on your controller all the way and just see what point it's just around there. So at that point there the wheels are turned the maximum but you're not overexerting the steering uh, servo and it's not sending more power to the wheels to turn more where it, it can't physically do it. The car will not physically allow you to turn any more than what it's doing now. Once you're happy with that, check everything's working. Now you can see the steering is nice and fast. So let's go on with the next protection mod. Okay, so the next mod, we're going to be putting some shock absorber, if you might want to call it that, uh, to the ESC guys. So what we're going to do is just going to release the two screws that hold the ESC down and just going to lift it up as it is with, with it all wired and hopefully just put a couple of pads in, in there. And what these are guys are the extra pads you get with the GoPro uh, kit that you do buy from China and in these kits they come as like 20 pieces or 200 pieces and all it is is they just put loads of these extra bits in there and these are adhesive for one side and just a smooth finish on the other so all I'm going to do is stick two together hopefully if I can get two in there and then hopefully screw, screw it down again and that will give the ESC a bit of cushioning so when you are having some heavy landings the car will bottom out and when it does bottom out the shock of the landing will just penetrate all the way through the car and could um, damage the ESC itself and another top tip guys is magnetize your drivers and all, I've, all this is, is a, a magnetic dart that the kids had lying about and I just find it's nice and easy to use
make sure it's all nice and tight all the wires are out of the way as well so that's the ESC done next let's do some more protection molds okay next guys we've got a dirt guard for the chassis and it's similar to what you've probably seen it's like a, a net cover that you put over the chassis and uh, you do velcro it to the sides and hopefully it keeps out any stones or any debris out of the electronics and means that you also don't have to start having to get into all the nuts and crannies to clean it out and hopefully it'll stay clean but guys this is a slight slightly different to the norm that ones that i've seen uh, whereas this has a zip on both sides and you see there and hopefully that will mean that we don't have to take the whole guard off to get to the batteries or the electronics guys so really happy about this um i'm not sure if i would be using something like this in summer because obviously these electronics and everything do get really hot and a netting like this might not allow the air to flow through it but definitely in non-summer months this is something that is very useful especially in autumn when there's got a lot of leaves around and you tend to get them everywhere in the cars so guys i'm going to be installing this this comes as the next piece and then you get some velcro velcro bits to put on the car as well guys uh we'll be just quickly installing them this costs around 14 pounds from ebay uk i will be leaving a link in the description below guys for these mods So let's get it installed. guys the Vel velcro is all on just make sure it's nicely secured down now obviously if this net didn't have the zips then you would be having to um, rip it off the velcro every time you want to get to the batteries and and any maintenance and whatnot and you will find that this velcro strip may start coming away but the beauty about this particular netting is because it's got the zips on both sides once you've stuck it down to the velcro you shouldn't need to remove it from the velcro unless you are went wrenching on the car so at the front here it's open and at the back here we've got a, a, a velcro strap so this is the direction that you're going to put it on and hopefully it should Bit. and just get it on nice and tight Do the same on the opposite side. Hey guys, 
feels nice and snug. Okay. Looks good. And the zips on this side here. That's good. And we'll just zip it. Unzip it from the other side. And that's how you get to it. So happy with that. And hopefully that's going to give us some protection and hopefully it will stop any dirt and any any debris getting inside there and just making it all dirty and it saves you hopefully will cut the my cleaning time down a bit as well so happy with that let's just see how it fits shouldn't have any issues with putting the lid on it's not in. Not in the way of anything. Just that little velcro bit there. We'll just trim that maybe. Right. Happy with that? Let's get on to the next mod. Okay, next guys. Super excited about this one. We have a nose guard for the Creighton EXP, and the same nose guard will fit the V4 and the V5 creating success line as well guys so this is what it, it looks like so it comes in two pieces it comes with the screws let's get it open so look at this one first that's nice and bendy nice and thick it looks like the same material they used for the mud guards so thank you very much Liam for sending me these out so it looks like we've got three pieces at the bottom which will go underneath to anchor the top plate down and it will be installed something like this so currently these are not available on ebay as of yet but i am in talks with the vendor and when they do become available i will be leaving a description a, li a link in the description below guys so that looks quite straightforward got to make sure the positioning is correct and then the second piece all right so we've got three more nuts and bolts sorry and it looks like this one comes in two pieces so it looks like you've got a top plate and then you've got a plate to go underneath to anchor it down as well guys so it looks like it goes on like this and again this is the same material so it's nice and bendy and flexible so it should hopefully bend around and fit the nose quite nicely so guys let's get them installed
Okay guys, the nose guard is now installed and all I've done is I've replaced the front screws here. This was the original screw, had these big heads on them and they were just sticking out too far so I've gone for um, a screw that looks like this now and it just means it's sunk in a bit better and it gives you a, a nicer finish to the front that's how it looks from inside so we've got some nice protection I've also got my shugu protecting the body anyway but um, this will hopefully protect the nose uh, from scratches or anything like that and between the nose guard and the roof rails I think the body should be protected as much as I can protect it so really happy with that and it's on it's quite solid ain't gonna be moving I might just go around with all these screws and put a tab of Loctite on the screw just get it a better angle let's get the car over I've got the dirt guard installed I'm really happy with the fact that I can unzip it all from both sides and not have to uh, rip it off the velcro we've got the ESC um, got some cushioning behind there we've set the uh, steering end points as well guys and now we've got a nose guard and the roof rails so I think that's our protection mods now done so all I've got left to do now is to uh, change the punch setting on the car and also the brake strength currently I've got punch 9 setting on the car and the brake strength is at, at 3 I find the brake strength is a bit harsh when you're trying to use it for air control and you do end up nose diving and obviously you might end up breaking something so I'm going to turn that down to number 2 which I think is 37.5% and then I'm going to reduce the punch level down to punch 5 as well now that's very straightforward to do so anyway uh, once everything else is done I think we're ready now the protection mods are all complete quickly show you the dust cover and how it looks it's um, it's designed for the Creighton and the Outcast so it does fit really nice and snugly the only downside is you can't really use um, this um, body brace to pick up the car you really need to pick it from underneath now but other than that she looks all good and she's now ready for a skate park bash I think so guys I hope you found this video helpful and useful and as always it's been a pleasure if you like what you see please hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing and until the next time see ya